Hello, how is going? It has been a little while since our last video. So in this video, I will walk you through how to build a web application, a weather application like this one from scratch in four minutes. All right, I'm kidding. This video itself doesn't build the application, but it will give you a overline of how we can build the application. Um, actually, I have already created a free course called Test Driven Development with React. It's totally free. And in that course, it's, it's around uh, two and a half hours um, for the video content. And it has a lot of more um, text uh, content as well. So um, in that, in, in the course, you will learn how to build that weather application like this one. I will address all the uh, course details in a minute. But, and let me quickly show you how the final application looks like. So essentially it has a input box. You can search, uh, you can type in the uh, city name for searching. Uh, for example, if you want to say uh, Alice Springs, uh, it's a, a rare center of Australia. And if you search for that, it will, will give you some suggestions if there are multiple matches. That Springs is only match, so we can add it to a, a weather card here. It requests the remote server for the weather data and uh, uh, represent it in the UI. You can add uh, as many um, cities as you like, and it will conditionally, based on the weather, uh, render a back back background image and the temperature and the weather condition as well. So that's all about the weather application itself. In the course, we'll be focusing on the TDD uh, with React. Mm. I picked up this example because it has a lot of interesting things like the network, how, how do you mock a network, uh, also how do, you, um, inter how do you test the user interactions like uh, typing and uh, click the button and then fetching the data and run them. Um, it has a, it, it, it's a very typical scenario you would see in most uh, web applications. So if you are new to uh, TDD with React or TDD in general, I guarantee you that after this course, you will have a you will have a much better understanding of the process and how to mock in, how to arrange your tests, and how to run it, how to establish a um, smooth workflow. So let's quickly walk through the course curriculum. Um, so basically, it has four parts. Um, if I don't if I don't include the introduction, um, it has foundation, which basically talking about the tests. How do you run the test? How do you do the um, test with Jest? There is a whole section talking about TDD. Uh, so it has examples and exercises you can you can try as well to um, consolidate the concepts. And then before we dive into the example, we will have set up our local environment, install the Mirage and uh, other packages. And after that, uh, we will jump into the implementation. It will have a, a few rounds. So we will add in the features step by step. Uh, firstly, we will try to implement the search box and then gradually we'll implement the card, the weather card. So the way we implement the uh, feature is we're adding the city name and then we're adding the temperature and then we're adding you know, background image. And uh, if you like, you can keep working on that uh, example. Uh, adding like the future uh, forecasts and maybe make the UI even fancy, like adding more icons um, based on the condition. And in the end of the course, I will give I will give you some um, next steps suggestions. And about the outcome of the course, I have already uh, listed in uh, uh, course already. So you can so before you decide to enroll the uh, course, you can have a look. Uh, so basically, you will have the fundamental understanding of the principles of TDD and the benefit of having TDD as part of your workflow, how TDD can help you to reduce the number of defects and how it can improve your code quality and help you to build up your confidence of making changes, uh, either it's uh, adding features or uh, you know fixing defects or even uh, inspect the defects or just uh, in general reading or understand the code base um, before you make any change. So uh, yeah, that's basically about this video. I just give you a roughly introduction of what uh, this course about and uh, I would recommend to give it a try just uh, like a, uh, a few hours. You can use your weekend well with 
finish this uh, course, please let me know how you find the course. Any feedback are welcome, either the content or the format of the content, or like what, what is missing and what is your most interesting but not covered in the course, or uh, what's the highlight of the course you, you would like to uh, emphasize, um, things like that. Please do not hesitate to reach out. Any feedbacks are welcome. If you found the content in the channel is useful, please like and subscribe and share it to others who are interested in the content. Um, and I will see you in the course.